It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am so excited to show you everything I got at my first estate sale. I have a haul for you guys. <laughs> Not just any haul, a romantic angelic whimsical antique estate sale haul i mean need i say more these items that i'm about to show you i just i can't believe that i came across this estate sale this is just insane and not only is this an estate sale haul this is a really feminine antique vintage estate sale haul i don't even know where to begin i'm just gonna start off with the first thing that i see and the first thing that i see is this beautiful little angel bucket. I am gonna use this as a trash can in my room. The trash can that I have right now is so ugly. <laughs> so I just feel like this is amazing, beautiful, perfect, perfection. It has little angels on it and it's gold. This reminds me of Amber Scholl. When I first saw this, I was like, yes, this is Amber Scholl, 100%. <gasps> just look how amazing this is three dollars most of this stuff still has a price on it because i was waiting to film this video for you guys so i can show you literally everything that i got i didn't want to miss anything because this is a lot of stuff and everything was very very affordable so i have a bunch of things in this bucket slash trash can that i'm going to show you guys so the first thing is this fan i got this fan for three dollars i want to do like a little photo shoot this is so cute i'm not sure if it's actually vintage but i know that it is hand painted like the flowers are hand painted this is amazing i will be doing a photo shoot with this the next thing i got is this antique egg i'm not sure if it's real antique but i know that i've always wanted one of these i don't even know what it's called but i know i've always wanted one this was six dollars and it even opens up and inside is an angel and it actually has room for a ring so i'm assuming someone used this as like a proposal box just look at that <laughs> I'm so excited to add this to my collection. Who knows, maybe I'll store some jewelry in here. This is so cute. The next thing I got is this 100% silk scarf. Just look at the beautiful floral pattern. I can't wait to wear this for spring and summer. I might tie this on one of my purses or even a scarf in my hair. I feel like it would look so cute. I don't know, I need to figure out how I can wear this. Maybe I can tie it as like a top. That would be so cute as like maybe a bathing suit cover up. I don't know how I'm going to wear this, but I know I'm going to wear it in multiple ways. <laughs> the next thing I got are these beautiful lace gloves. And I don't know if these are necessarily vintage or antique, but I know that I wanted these because I want to take photos in them. <laughs> so I just got a white pair and a black pair and look how whimsical and beautiful these are with just the right outfit is going to be incredible like i can picture myself with a little teacup and have a little teacup photo shoot look how cute and the black ones obviously would be perfect for like a fall themed photo shoot so the next things i got are these beautiful candle holders these are matching angels and they're candle stick holders so cute and it's obviously gold which is a common theme in my room that i'm trying to go for and i'm so glad i scored all of this stuff because i'm planning on doing like a whole video on like redecorating my room and like hanging stuff up because i have a lot of stuff that i bought that i never put up because i'm saving it for an entire video like a dedicated decorate my room with me video so to incorporate more decor in my room, I picked out some picture frames that I want to show you. So this first one, this 
is a core memory that I have because right when I walked into the estate sale house, I picked this up. Like I grabbed it from the wall and I put it in my hands and um, I took it with me because this, tell me this does not remind you of like Love Shack Fancy or like a French Parisian vibe. This was $3, I couldn't pass it up. It does have Mary and Jesus in the photo, which is not something I'm going for in my room. Don't get me wrong, I love God and everything, but it's not something I'm going for in my room. So I'm gonna try to take the photo out and replace it with something else. So we'll see if I can end up doing that. The next thing I got reminds me of Minecraft. I know that is so niche to say, but it, I don't know, I just, I saw it and I was like, Minecraft vibes? I don't know. <laughs> this is so precious. It was $2. This is gonna look, like, just imagine it on the wall. It, or, like, I need to start hanging stuff up because my room is so plain. I got this other picture frame. Honestly, I kind of regret getting this because it doesn't have a thing to, like, hang on the wall. It only has, like, the thing for your desk. But I mean, I could put it here and put, like, a cute photo in here but I don't know it's also not the same gold that I'm going for this is kind of like I don't know how to describe it it's like a white gold and this is like a yellowish gold I'm trying to go for more like yellow ish gold antique gold this I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with I kind of regret buying but I mean it doesn't have the price on it but I don't think I spent anything more than five dollars on this so I'm not too mad about it I'm sure I'll find a place for it. I got a set of these beautiful floral candles. There's three of them. And I don't know if I'm actually going to burn them. I think I'm just going to use them for decor somewhere in the bathroom, maybe. In my room somewhere, on my nightstand. I don't know. But I love how it's a little set. And I think this is going to look so cute, like, together. And it reminded me of Love Shack Fancy with the floral pattern and this was a dollar three for a dollar so I was like I mean I'll find a place for it might as well so I'm the kind of girl that loves to have everything in her purse and so when I saw this I was like this would be perfect for pills slash vitamins if I'm on the go so <laughs> I got this little like pill case and it has a flower on it and I thought it was so pretty it's definitely giving vintage vibes I'm not sure if it's actually vintage but this is what it looks like. So cute. I'm excited to use this in my purse. <laughs> this is kind of random, but I got a bow pin. And this, I mean, I could just attach it anywhere. It's literally just a bow pin. And it reminded me of Love Shack Fancy. So I was like, why not get it and put it on a sweater or a shirt or something? And then I came across this beautiful pearl watch. I'm not sure about watches like I don't know too much about watches but I know that when I saw this I was like I need this because I've always wanted a pearl watch and I'm so excited <laughs> that I have one now this is so cute I love this so much it definitely gives me like vintage vibes okay so when I walked into this house I was just starstruck by literally everything the house was incredibly beautiful just all the decor and how everything was laid out and so i scoured the closet and i found this hat box and it is just adorable i love this again this gives me like the minecraft vibes i don't know if you can tell but it looks like you could literally build this in Minecraft because of the blocks. I don't know. I, my mind is so weird. It goes to weird places, but I love this hat box. It is giving such romantic vintage vibes, and I have an envision for this box. I want to do like a photo shoot with it. Imagine a cute dress, and then this, you're like sitting next to it and like leaning on it or something like that. I don't know. My mind just goes to weird places, but... I love this so much and I'm so excited because now I can like redecorate my closet and add this to it and it would give like such romantic vibes. So I definitely want to do like a video dedicated to like redoing my closet and giving my closet a like a romantic whimsical Love Shack Fancy makeover. This is going to be perfect for that. I also got this heart box. Look how cute. 
again with the Minecraft vibes. I don't know, it's giving Minecraft grandma shabby chic vibes, but I love it. It opens up. You can add in you like some jewelry. Let me know in the comments down below what you think I should use this for because I feel like I always buy these empty like boxes and I never use it for anything. But I mean, I have a lot of things sitting out, so maybe I could put my summer bracelets in here. I don't know, my Taylor Swift friendship bracelets. That'd be a good place for them. <laughs> maybe I just figured out what I'm gonna use this for. And speaking of a closet makeover, we got some hangers. I love these padded hangers. This will be perfect for the closet. And this will definitely go into the theme that I'm trying to go with, with like redoing my whole closet. And not only did I get some pink hangers, I also got different colors. So these are all the, <laughs> these are all the rest of the hangers that I got. We got this black one. It's giving all the Chanel vibes with the pearl. So cute. And I love the gold handle. These are all gold handles. So I love that. And then we got two cream ones with bows. So cute. And then we got these angel ones. Whoever lived in this house had an obsession with angels because almost everything that I picked out has like some sort of angel on it, which I think is so adorable. So in this beautiful bedroom, I saw this clock and I had an envision for it for my nightstand, but I'm not too sure about it because it does have a cord and I don't know how I feel about that. But we'll figure it out. This was only $5, so even if I don't end up using it and I donate it, it's still only like $5, so I'm not mad about it. Look how beautiful it is. I just gravitated towards it because of this rose and, of course, gold. I love gold, especially watching like Amber Scholl. She really inspired the gold theme in my room. <laughs> now, speaking of gold and angels, look what I found. This beautiful gold angel painting. I just straight up grab this from the wall because I need more artwork in my room, but I'm not too sure about the painting. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? I know it's a little scandalous, but it's still like romantic and it has that like feminine vibe that I'm going for. It was only $6. So, you know, I can play around with this decor and if I don't like some of it, I can always donate it. I'm not too mad because I didn't spend that much money. So, this is one of the paintings that I got. I'm going to show you the next one that I'm in love with. This is a little big, <laughs> but when I saw this, I immediately just had to have it. It is another angel painting, and this one is just so romantic and beautiful, especially because of the pink border around it with the cream and the gold. I just thought this would fit my room to a T. I love it so much and even if I don't like the painting inside I could probably always change it and switch it out but I mainly got this for the frame just look at how beautiful this is it is huge and there were two of these and it was crazy because the lady that was grabbing the other one she grabbed it first and I looked at her and I was like are you gonna take the, are you gonna take the other one she was like oh I share you know if you want it you can have it I was like are you sure like because it was a matching set of paintings I didn't want to like you know ruin her plans or anything but she was like no no you can have it I was just so happy that you know some of these people are crazy at estate sales like they will literally trample you and push you <laughs> like literally it's insane but some people are really nice and she was one of the nice ones so the next things that i got are these i went into the garage of this house and i stumbled upon some christmas decor and i know christmas is long far away but you know i can't pass up some cute vintage princess whimsical christmas decor so i got these pillows they're matching and of course it has an angel on them with santa Look how beautiful this is. I just, this is just beautiful. And I'm pretty sure this is antique. Like there's no way that it's not. I've never seen anything like this. Now for the last few things, I came across this ribbon and it's like half used, but when I saw it, I was like, this is the most beautiful ribbon I've ever seen in my life. It has that element that Love Shack Fancy has in their collections, especially like their dresses and tank tops. Like I've noticed that they have similar 
patterns of this type of style. I don't even know what I'm gonna use it for, but I could probably make something with it, hair bows or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Now, since we were just talking about Christmas, <laughs> I got a few Christmas ornaments that I'm gonna show you. So these are just so beautiful. I've never seen anything like these ornaments before. Stores like Michael's and At Home and Hobby Lobby, they always have such cute ornaments, but these are just something else. So first, of course, we have angels again. These I kind of got as like a matching set. And then with that, I also got a little, little, little baby angel. Look how cute. So that's kind of like a matching set. And then I got some more angels, but these are like a different color of gold. Look how beautiful. So cute. Oh, I love them. When I saw these next ornaments, my jaw dropped to the floor because you cannot tell me that this is not giving like Marie Antoinette. Just look how cute. And I feel like these are handmade because these seem so fragile and shabby chic that I just feel like someone made these. Definitely somebody made these handmade. So I got a total of four. Oh, look at how cute, this one's pink. I got a total of four and there was a lot more. Like I could have grabbed a whole box, but I needed to just limit myself because I could have gone crazy. But yeah, I just got four of them and I feel like that's gonna be a cute little set. Oh my goodness, look how cute these little teapots and teacups are. Imagine this on the Christmas tree. You can even do this. Oh, you can even do a tree for like spring and add these to it. I am not that kind of girl as of right now in my life. Like maybe in the future I'll have a tree like Heather, a tree for spring and Easter, but I'm not at that point in my life. But I feel like that would be just perfect for a tree for like Easter. <laughs> All right guys, that is everything that I got at the estate sale. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought was like the best find. I am kind of addicted to looking up estate sales at this point. Like I look every day to see if more pop up. This is a golden gem like estate sales don't pop up like this on a regular basis so i just feel like i'm so lucky the time that i looked at it versus the time that like like i get the stars just aligned with this one so i am just so happy and thankful and grateful for all of this stuff and i do recognize that you know who knows what happened to the original owner of all these things you never know but I do take it into account of like how grateful I am to have these things because you could just tell that this previous owner of all these things, you know, had so much love and admiration for romantic and girly things. And I just take so much pride in the fact that I have these things as well to just admire and look after. And, you know, I probably feel the same way as that original own owner did with all these things. You don't understand how happy all this makes me. Like this just lights up my soul and I love antique shopping, I love thrifting. So if you guys want more videos of me like going to antique stores, going to thrift stores, let me know what other videos you guys wanna see. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next girly vlog. Bye.